real cases before a real judge. Plaintiff Dolores Mason says when she started dating the defendant, he was controlling and possessive. And her friends and family warned her that he was using her. Dolores is suing her ex-boyfriend for unpaid loans. Defendant David Anderson was a crack cocaine addict for several years, and he knew he didn't want a relationship, so he never had sex with Dolores. David denies owing Dolores any money. All right, start with you. Well, Your Honor, I'm here today to basically um, stick up for myself and to also let other women out there know what a liar and what a user this man is. I had family members, um, his family members, I had friends, and my family members that tried to tell me that he was using me. Why do you believe it was the wrong choice? What, what was it like? Well, um, he, it started out that, I mean, in the beginning it started out and I seen like where he was very um, controlling and very um, possessive. Um, he would go through my text messages um, on my phone. Um, when my phone would ring when we were together, he would, you know, say, who's that? And if I told him it was a male friend of mine, he would answer the phone. Um, and tell him to stop calling me. There was a, another time that he like took my phone and was texting one of my male friends and told him, you know, to- How many male friends you got? <laughs> I've got a lot. <laughs> huh? I've got, I've got- A lot? Well, I've got two in particular that I'm talking about. Okay, go ahead. But I started going to bingo with my ex-sister-in-law um, and David started going and um, he asked my ex-sister-in-law for my phone number and that's when, you know, it pretty much began. Um, where we were hanging out, he gave me an, a key to his apartment um, and he was just a real charmer, smooth talker. Things went down after he borrowed the money from me and then when I was texting him and trying to get him to pay me back the money like he promised, um, that's when things were... All right, so you all were still together when you began asking for repayment? Yes. All right. And so since he didn't repay you in a timely manner, you all broke up over that? No, we actually broke up because um, he was seeing somebody else. Okay. And another girl lived with him. He was seeing someone else and another well, girl lived. Well, the same lived. girl lived with him. Uh, both of y'all swamp. <laughs> you got an unlimited amount of men calling you on your phone. <laughs> And he got two, three women living with him and another one outside the house. Defendant David Anderson says the plaintiff is so obsessed with him that she follows him everywhere he goes. But the plaintiff insists they were dating. Sir, what do you want to tell me about the relationship before we get to the loans? Well, first of all, Your Honor, I'd like to give you a, a little background about myself. I, I was into drugs and alcohol real bad for many years, and I've been in recovery for five years now. I've been just clean for five years. So uh, Dolores was never clean. She would come over there. You could tell she was high. She would what kind be, of drugs were you all on? I was on crack cocaine. And uh, I've been through it. What was she on? Uh, she's on pills. Uh, they pulled her over not too long ago and found heroin in her car. You a dope fiend? No, Your Honor. <laughs> never been one? No, I was, um, I was addicted to pills. And what Why? used to- How did that occur? from several surgeries that I would okay. had, All back right. surgery. All right, that's understandable. No heroin? No, sir. All right, go ahead. Dolores and I were never boyfriend and girlfriend, never. I never, I, I, I never even been to bed with her. She, she came over. You all have never been intimate? Well, you didn't say that, you say you've never been in the bed. Yeah, yeah, All right. Yeah. Cars. She, she, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Closets. Cars, closets, kitchen yeah. tables, kitchen yeah. Table. The beach, oh, yeah. all right, just there, never in the we, bed. That we, was we, we never had, we, we never had sex. She did oh, sexual okay. things for me because I wouldn't have sex with her. Because he couldn't get it up. Oh. <laughs> he said he asked to go to the doctors and have it checked. <laughs> yeah. You the one started this, you should have left her alone. <laughs> Go ahead. So I, I'm in recovery and I know she's still doing drugs. So I, I, I told her from the start, from the very start, I'm not looking for a relationship. I don't want a relationship. All right, and tell me about the loan you're suing him for, ma'am. Okay, um, like on January 28th, we went up to um, Blackhawk to gamble. And 
he spent his money. I had won a little bit of money. He wasn't ready to come back down, so he asked me if he could borrow some money, and I asked him how much. And he said, uh, just $40, and I'll pay you when we get down. Well, he, he never paid me when we got down. Um, I've got a break down here. Let's see it. And you loan him a total of uh, 1740 obviously. Yes, sir. All right, February 25th, a... March 15th, March 17th. Uh, sir, did you borrow these monies? No, she, I, I don't know nothing about the 750. I, I, she called me and wanted to go to Blackhawk. I told her I didn't have the money. She said, don't worry about it. I just won some money in Blackhawk. I'll, I'll, I'll pay for it. I said, okay. So we went to Blackhawk. Uh, we we're up there about an hour, and she, she gave me $40. What about $750? No, she never gave me $750. She, I, I got home one day, and there was eight $100 bills under my mat because she is so obsessed. She follows me everywhere I go. She, uh, one, one time I, I, I came out, I was getting ready to go to work. She's sitting on my patio. I, I told her, I, I text her because I didn't want to open my door because she's crazy. <laughs> so I, I, I text her and I, I tell her, look, you've got to go. You can't, you can't sit out on my porch. i got to go to work. And she texts me back and she says, this is public property. I can go anywhere I want. <laughs> so you received 800 You never received 750 I never received 750 As a loan or a gift? Not a loan or a gift. Just 800 What about 150 in March? That was a bingo trip she wanted to go on, and I told her once again I didn't have the money. She said, well, don't worry about it. I'll pay for it. My daughter was with me, um, and, okay. and right. she had already bought the cards by the time when I even got there. Okay. Ma'am, what do you say? Uh, you have any evidence of any of this? Yes, I do. I have um, a the, breakdown of text messages. I have them like the most. Do they indicate the amounts? Uh, yes, sir. And I also have. Um, all right, let's hear the recorded message. A recording. Now you want to get all mouthy on the text, but you don't want to answer your phone. Um, I told you that I'd be able to get that money back to you on the 23rd, Dolores. Now, if you need something before that, let me know and be simple about it. Don't be like you're being. You may call. I'm going to take a nap for a while. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to say, sir? <laughs> well, Your Honor, I, I did tell her that I, I would give her the money back. And mm -hmm. she told me, right, in front of my daughter, my witness, can you stand up? She, she told me, don't worry about the money. Mm -hmm. she, I've got text messages here where it, it, it shows she's obviously, I mean, I got one message here that says, are you busy sitting at your desk getting a Defendant David Anderson says the plaintiff is so obsessed with him that she follows him everywhere he goes. But the plaintiff insists they were dating. First of all, sir, you said that you never agreed to pay any back because, in particular, you said she slid $800 under the mat. You say she under gave you $150 for bingo. You said she yes. gave you $40 for the casino. You deny knowing anything about the $750. So at what point did you tell me you agreed to pay her back? I at, missed at, that. At the bingo hall, I told her, I, I, will, I will try and get her money back. Why? It was, they weren't true. loans. They were gifts. You don't give gifts back. Be because she kept telling me and telling me, look, I got some extra money. I went up to Blackhawk. I won, I think it was $2,600. I heard the story before, sir. I heard the story. And your side of the story was she never loaned me one thing and I never agreed to pay her back. Now when I hear you agreeing to pay her back with you talking crazy, now you want to <laughs> say that, yes, yeah, I agreed to pay her, but then she forgave the debt and I have my daughter up here to tell you this lie that she heard her say that. So go ahead. State your name. Jessica Anderson. Now, what's the lie you want to tell me about I hearing him her say lie. don't pay him? I will not lie about anything. All I'm right. Not what do you want to tell me? First of all, Dolores, everything. Now, I mean, tell me I what spoke... you heard. Okay. He said he wants you to tell me that you heard her yes. say he doesn't have to pay. The her night anymore. we were sitting in the bingo hall, he they were whispering something back and forth, and he said it's okay. Jessica already knows about the money, and then some other conversation came up, and he said, Dolores, I'll try and give you some money back this Friday when I get paid, and she said you don't have to worry about it. There's text right here, him saying just to see she's very vindictive. Him obsessive. saying what, ma'am? Him saying what? She, he asked her, he said, if I told you we could be together, would you drop the lawsuit, yes or no? Just to prove that all this is about mm -hmm. them being together. Mm -hmm. She but said, my heart says that, no, but my mind says yes, are you happy? It also proves that he still owes. 
Your Honor. Like, I, when it, oh, no, he doesn't, you don't ask people to drop a debt unless you still owe the debt. Okay, maybe it wasn't worded you're, you're properly, and I don't know about his. Yeah. <laughs> Judge, judgment for the plaintiff, $1,740. That was a good day. So you're right. It's sad that you're, to be a liar, Dolores. You you're are becoming a, dope fiend, a liar and you just like your dad. Be. You're telling me I'm delusional? This this lady is you're a liar, fiend. just like your dad, she, just like you lied to your parents she's, she's, about she's being off the drugs. Likes, oh, I'm not. Text messages. You're the one that so. gave her drugs, stupid. Ha. You're the one that the called one that me, me drugs. and asked me after we to got, bring her down pills, and you after, told after her mom her that you didn't, so you didn't get in trouble with her. After we got her out of rehab, after we got her out of rehab, you took her drugs. You're the one that got my pills and asked me to bring down pills for her.